Well, I just wanted to show you the finished work of what the preacher had been working on. And he got it looking good. Pretty much he did it all by himself. And it ended up being a deep hole, but he got that really good bed stone and put that in there and tamped it in real good. I didn't see how he tamped it, but, you know, he figured out a way to do it. But he's got it fixed, people. Did a good job. Well, look, if you want something done, it ain't nothing to it but to do it. Uh, some people bite off more than they can chew. <laughs> some people uh, have fun doing stuff like like that. You know, that's just that's that's their way of working out. Their entertainment. It's uh, what they do. But I want to tell you something. These young people coming up, they ain't gonna know nothing about how to pour concrete. They ain't gonna know nothing how to about to build a, a form. They ain't gonna know nothing about how to dig a dig a ditch. They too busy messing with their cell phones. Now I talked to a school nurse today. She told me she was a school nurse. I asked her about this question with these young young boys. I mean young boys. And elementary schools carrying phones in their front pockets. And this has been going on for quite a while. And I asked her, was I right about uh, young teenage girls not getting pregnant? As, as much as they once did and she said you know you know that's that's a true story that's a, you you're telling yeah and uh so that's here in the ozarks that uh all these high school junior high girls are not getting pregnant by the boys like they once did and if you look, use a statistical analysis you can prove this out and uh, i think they ought to do it all across the country and uh and just look at the at why and uh, maybe even bring in a, a a whole group of boys and test their you know testosterone and uh, make sure that you know the study if it was done correct well hell yeah if it was done correct it'd make them where they'd ban uh, cell phones from schools that's what they need to do don't know even a high school kid don't need no cell phone Never owned one, never had a cell phone contract. But I have bought uh, cell phones for women and paid for their bills. <laughs> I just ain't never towed it no phone. I've towed it cameras. I'm, I, I gotta be straight true about that. I've towed it cameras, but as far as the last time I checked, the camera ain't putting out that kind of microwave negative EM low, low, all those fancy words for <laughs> damaging your DNA structure in your body, your whole body. But if you keep it down there in your front pocket, you just you just ask it not to be able to have babies. Um, that could be a strategy. But until people start thinking about this question and and talking amongst yourself, feel free, talk amongst yourself, gossip, talk whatever you want to talk. Just ask school nurses, ask teachers, ask school administrators. Uh, what is the... They should be done kept up with the data all these years of these children getting pregnant. And uh, so now with the debate going on about abortion, they, they got all the numbers they need for that. But uh, when it comes to cell phones and the safety of cell phones with giving them to grammar school kids, can you imagine that? Little bitty kids, uh, seven, eight years old, start carrying phones in their damn front pocket. All right, that's enough I need to rant. I don't need to rant about that. But uh, y'all do your own research, ask questions, make your own videos. And uh, hell, let's get, uh, let's get together as a group and uh, ban cell phones from schools. Well, I wish you'd look at how much work it got done yesterday. Yesterday was the 31st of May. Today is the 1st of June, 2019. Look at how far they got up. Look how well done they have that roof. Wow. That's amazing. I wonder if he's going to tear down the old barn. Next time I see him out, I'm going to ask him. That's a lot of good wood in there. Old wood. I wonder did the Amish build that one. 
do, do you ever wonder about stuff? I wonder about stuff all the time. <sighs> it's good to wonder about stuff. Sometimes it'll take you down a trail you didn't know you were gonna go down when you do your own research. If I could give anybody any big advice about um, life and how to maintain peace is research the things that you love or the things that you want to prove out either right or wrong research once my mind became open I became a researcher it's just natural progression yeah you'll find out stuff that you don't really like that you can't do a damn thing about you'll find out that the system that we see in the world is not one of love that's one of fear and evil now there's a lot of loving people in the world that's one reason it ain't blew up yet <laughs> there's been some really faithful we call them light workers that have been holding the space and the grid to fire the grid into that one of love that we are and these people are are doing this for no charge <laughs> they're they're awake conscious beings now how many of them are christ conscious beings is another story but once you do your research into how to maintain your own peace you'll see that uh it ain't it ain't hard it ain't rocket science it's just being happy with yourself and loving yourself and forgiving the one that's got to be forgiven the most yourself The world becomes peaceful, quiet, and if a storm comes up, you can move it. You move it first in your mind, and you move it in your heart, and then the next thing you know, everything's back calm and peaceful. I like peaceful. <laughs> can you tell? Look at them pretty flowers. That Cannondale's two years old. Yeah, maybe, maybe two and a half to three. Wow, it looks brand new. It's got all of the latest stuff on it. Yes, it does. Automatic. Uh, shifter. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I like my Scott. I'm going on two years with it, right? Oh, yeah. it's it's gorgeous bike. Yeah. I like your track. Yeah, it's a nice track. 2012 model, last one handmade in Waterloo, Illinois. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. I just keep rebuilding it, and putting parts on. <laughs> keep yeah. it. Keep it running the best I can. Why should it wear out, right? Right. <laughs> if you don't take care of it, it will. It Absolutely. got the. It got the. This uh, bottom bracket got the making a bird sound. Yeah. I just kept going, kept going. It got worse and worse, and one day it just locked up. Did it really? I had to get back, and I just blew the whole thing out. Wow. It happens. It didn't have enough grease, or well, or just I, malfunction. I never had it, I probably never had it properly serviced until I got here where I found uh, A and B cycle. Yeah, they do and, a great job. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't mechanic on my own bike. I, I, don't, I don't, I could. I, I don't change my own oil either. No. I just had mine serviced, I bought it up there at the bike outlet. Okay, bike outlet. Yeah. Yeah, that's where they sell Scots. Yep. Yeah. That, that's a nice guy that runs that. Yes, it is. He's they call nice. him the goat? Yep. Yeah. I like that thing he did about the uh, underground. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description so you can see what he did about the underground. Yeah. He's a bike rider and he works there, so he drove right on through and uh -huh. went, ar 
took a tour and talked about it. Nice. Real interesting. Boy, there's a lot of people out and about today, ain't it? There are now. Yeah, Look at all that traffic. This is our second stop here. I had two cars as I was coming in pull out in front of me. Uh, that happens. We're all, we were coming around down here and there's a car coming down by that gas or that O'Reilly's not even looking. Yeah. And I'm going, look, look, look. And finally she looked back. Yeah. Seen us. And I thought, okay. <laughs> she was about that close of pulling on through. She was just, go, she was just going. It's amazing. People, uh, they own their cell phones and they don't give a yeah. dang. I yeah. tell you, the people don't need to be having uh, driving in cell phones. I can rant about cell phones, can't I, people? Yeah, I, we can all write.